let us discuss this question the price of a scooter was 34000 last year it has increased by 20% this year and what is the price now so it's a type of increase and decrease percentage question here the price of the scooter last year is given and increased percentage also given so if we know how much rate is increased we can find out the present cost because last year cost plus the increased cost is equal to the present cost so first of all let us find out what is the increased price for finding out that increased percentage is given so increased price is equal to twenty percentage of means twenty by hundred of thirty four thousand Let us cancel these two zeros. Thirty-four into two, sixty-eight, and double zero. Six thousand eight hundred rupees increased. So, what is the present uh, percent rate of the scooter? Present price equal to old price plus increased price. What is the old price? Thirty-four thousand plus six thousand eight hundred. How much it is? Four thousand eight hundred rupees. Look at this question. An item marked at eight hundred and forty is sold for seven hundred and fourteen. What is the discount and discount percentage? We know that discount is equal to marked price minus sale price. Discount is equal to marked price minus selling price. So here, what is the marked price? Eight hundred and forty, and what is the selling price? Seven hundred and fourteen. So eight hundred and fourteen minus seven hundred and eight hundred and forty minus seven hundred and fourteen, one hundred and twenty-six rupees. So what is the discount per discount? One hundred and twenty-six rupees. But there is another part of the question. What is the discount percentage? We know that discount percentage is equal to discount divided by Marked price into hundred. So here, what is the discount? One hundred and twenty-six rupees. And what is the marked price? Eight hundred and forty into hundred. Let us cancel zeros. And ten and eighty-four can be cancelled by two. Two fives are ten. Two fours are eight. Two twos are four. Again, let us cancel forty-two and one twenty-six by three. We can cancel it by three because four plus two is divided by three. Four plus two six is divided by three, and one plus two plus six. The sum of one plus two plus six nine. That's also divisible by three. So we can divide one twenty six and forty two by three. Three fourteen are forty two, and three four are twelve. Three two are six. Again fourteen three are forty two. So we get three and five. Three into five. So what is the final percentage? Fifteen percentage. This is the discount percentage. The list price of a frock is given as two hundred and twenty, and the discount percentage is given as twenty percentage. 
we should find out amount of discount and selling price what is sp and what is discount these are the two things we have to find out and what is given list price that means m marked price is given mp is given and the discount percentage is also given so we can find out a discount equal to discount percentage by 100 into marked price zero let us cancel so we got 22 into 2 means rupees 44 discount how much discount rupees 44 how did we do discount is equal to discount percentage by 100 into 220 or 20 percentage of 220 20 percentage of 220 220 is the market price 20 percentage of means 20 by 100 into 220 so now we want to find out what is selling price we know that selling price is equal to marked price minus discount. So, what is the marked price? 220. What is the discount we got? 44. So, uh, 220 minus 44. Let us subtract. 4 plus how much is 10? 6. Add 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus how much is 12? 7. And 1, 1 plus 1, 2. What's the answer? A rupees 176 is the selling price. Sohan bought a second hand refrigerator for 2500 and spent 500 on its repairs. So what is the total cost price of Sohan? Actually, he purchased it for 2500 but an additional expense of 500 for the repairs. So, what is his cost price? 2500 plus 500 now. So, what is the cost price? Well, rupees 3000. And see the next part. He sold it for 3300. So, what is the selling price? Selling price is rupees 3300 so he spent only 3000 rupees but he got 3300 rupees so whether he got profit or loss he got profit so we have to find out the profit percentage or gain percentage so first of all let us find out the gain what is a gain gain is equal to sp minus cp what is sp 3300 minus cp 3300 3, so we got uh, rupees 300 and finally gain percentage what is gain percentage formula gain by cp into 100 you should remember this formula always, okay? Gain percentage is equal to gain by CP into 100. So, what is the gain percentage? What is gain? 300 rupees. What is CP? 3000 rupees into 100. Let us do cancellation. Uh, we can cut this zero. 330. 10 times. So, how much is the gain percentage? So, how much is the gain percentage? 10. 10 percentage. Okay. A shopkeeper purchases 200 bulbs for 10 each. So, Number of bulbs 200. Each bulb costs 10 rupees. So what is his cost price? 200 into 10 rupees. That means rupees 
2000 is its cost price now however five bulbs were fused out of 200 bulbs five bulbs got fused so how many bulbs he sold he sold 200 minus 5 number of bulbs sold actually he purchased 200 bulbs but five bulbs got fused so 200 minus 5 195 bulbs only he sold and what is the selling price of each bulb 12 rupees so what is the selling price of all these 195 bulbs 195 into 12 let us multiply and see 195 into 12 Five two sa ten nine two sa eighteen plus one nineteen one two sa two plus one three five nine one nine plus five fourteen nine plus three twelve plus one thirteen one plus one two what is two thousand three hundred and forty rupees that is his selling price. Now tell me, cost price is two thousand, and selling price is two thousand three hundred and forty. And what is his gain or loss percentage? What did he get gain or loss? He got gain because selling price is more. So what is his gain? Gain is equal to selling price minus cost price. What is his selling price? Two thousand three hundred and forty minus cost price. Two thousand, so rupees three hundred and forty. Now we have to find out gain percentage. Gain percentage is equal to gain by CP. What is CP? What is this CP? Two thousand. Two thousand. Into hundred, cancel, zero cancelled, two hundred thirty four cancelled seventeen times. So what is his gain percentage? Seventeen percentage. Okay. See this question. Minu bought two fans for twelve hundred each. How many fans she purchased? Two, and each one cost twelve hundred. So what is Minus cost price. Cost price is equal to two into each fan cost twelve hundred, means two thousand four hundred rupees. Now we have to find out the selling price. She sold one at loss of five percentage and the other at a ten percentage. So we have to find out the selling price separately. So. Loss percentage of one fan. Loss percentage of one fan. That's equal to five percentage. Five percentage means how much money? Five by hundred of twelve hundred. Because each fan cost twelve hundred only for two fans, two thousand four hundred. But cost price of one fan is twelve hundred. So we are finding out the loss percentage of, ah, uh, sorry, loss of one fan. We are finding out loss of one fan. We are finding out. So that is equal to five by hundred into twelve hundred. We can cancel. Twelve fives are sixty. So what is the loss of one fan? By selling one fan, she got a loss of sixty rupees. So what is the loss? Uh, what is the selling price of one fan? SP of one fan equal to twelve hundred minus sixty. So she sold it for. Zero six plus four ten one one.
okay she sold it for 1140 rupees 15 and second part you see and she sold it 10 percentage profit another fund she sold for 10 percentage profit so profit percentage of another fund profit percentage of another fund how much 10 percentage so profit is equal to 10 percentage of 1200 rupees because each one she sold for 1200 so we get 100 and 20 rupees that is a profit percentage of the next fund so sp of the second fund sp of other fund equal to 1200 plus 120 which is equal to 1320 rupees so what is the overall sp total sp total sp is equal to first uh, the fan which she sold for loss Uh, got one thousand one hundred and forty rupees. One thousand one hundred and forty rupees. She sold for that fan, which she got loss, and the one which she got profit, she sold it for one thousand three hundred and twenty. So, what is the total price? Two thousand four hundred and sixty rupees. Okay. Now, actual, what is the real question? Our question is. Find out the total profit or loss. Okay, find out the selling price each and find out the total profit or loss. Not profit percentage is not asked. Only profit or loss asked. Actually, what is their cost price? Their cost price is two hundred rupees. Cost price is two hundred two thousand four hundred rupees. And what is the uh, selling price? Two thousand four hundred and sixty. So she got profit or loss? She got profit only because selling price is more. Profit equal to two thousand four hundred and sixty minus two thousand and four hundred. So she got only uh, rupees sixty profit.